these are statements made by people, and I'm going to be covering them really quickly here. I got a new battery. Yay! Here we go. After the tower fire in Britain, someone posted this to a video I posted. They are going to be. They are not going to be able to identify all the remains. Many were literally cremated. I've tried not to look up anything since then, and I'm not going to include the name. Uh, I might include the name of the tower in the video if, if this actually goes anywhere that's useful. They can't go into all areas to search as it's unsafe in some areas, obviously. That's why they've been using dogs. A policeman I spoke to who was called from my area to Grenfell said, we will never know the exact total. Now again, the video I, I commented on was people claiming outside of the building thousands and thousands of deaths. But when asked and when pressed, why did you say that? They basically are saying, because my religion, or my, because my uh, 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 my minority group, none of them were doing it because of actually counting people or being concerned of the dead. Their concern was to hoodwink it and to be a political subject. But yeah, I'm aware of this. I mean, it's a fire, and it's Britain needs to fix this problem. I mean, in the United States, we had an equivalent problem. And we still never solved it, but we actually adopted rules that really piss people off about that. But I also like to point out that a lot of people, politically motivated people, specifically in Britain, got mad about improving those uh, those methods to European standards. And this would have benefited everybody if, you, if, if they followed better standards for fire protection. I'm not kidding. It's... it's this is being politicized. That's bad. But anyway, here we go. Another thing is officials don't like to announce a death until they talk to relatives. If they have bodies they can't identify, that causes problems. Counterpoint. The death toll in every case is announced as a number, not the individual deaths. That is not true. You don't have to get the relative's permission because not everybody has relatives that anybody knows about. So that's not really true. I'm, not, I'm wondering where you're going with this. So here we go with the next. Someone estimated the deaths at maybe 130. Again, with visitors, it's hard to tell. The total physical capacity of the building, a lot like another incident, which was a club where there was a shooting, is something you can actually look up. Unless you're literally cramming those floors with people, you don't get a statistically large increase in the number of possible deaths. But okay, we'll continue. Council records m may not have all children listed. Now we're, uh, I'm sorry, but this sounds like you're leaning towards the for the children meme. I'm not saying you are, but again, the maximum capacity of the building. But I don't know. We, I don't know. I, I could be totally wrong about my assertions right now. I haven't looked in it since then. And I, this comment, I think I let post. I haven't looked into it since then either. But I wanted to cover this because this is an actual important subject for various reasons, including Brexit being bandied about as a subject matter. Again, people are taking advantage of every single thing. Don't let a tragedy go to waste. We've all heard people say that. And again, I, 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 I gotta point this part out. Highly flammable materials were used in the siding in the building to make it look nice so people didn't have to look at what they considered an eyesore. The next time you hear somebody say anything like that at all, at any public hearing, Ask them, are you going to advocate for the use of anything that would cause a fire? Like the tower in Britain. That's not appropriate. Yes, it is. This is the same logic. Learn from history. Anyway. The police spoke to survivors about their neighbors to get a better idea who lived there. Yes, and one of the people who would have been a neighbor or whatever was politicizing it. So, I don't know. A bunch of people are saying, this is racism. No, it's... Poor versus rich. Get your enemies straightened out. But again, this person may not be saying that. Next. Um, of the top three stories, it's almost impossible as practically all died. That I would expect. Unfortunately. Oh, and the firemen put people into flats they felt were safer but we're not always able to return to get them out. This might go along with the don't leave the building while it's on fire order that was given out by someone who 
no one should ever listen to again, and the someone or someones should be publicly ridiculed and barred from having those positions again. You don't tell people to leave a building that's on fire. Right? Why? Seriously, why? Why did someone do that? That actually happened. No, I'm not kidding. Really? Why? I mean, there may be an actual real compelling reason, but also the buildings were altered to make them more palatable by getting rid of extra exits. I don't think there's any such thing as extra exits, but okay. <clears throat> Can we learn from this incident and not reproduce it? Can we tell every politician, you exploit this to get elected, get more money, we're going to fire you just on principle? Can we stick to our guns with that? I don't know. Some people moved upwards in the building to congregate in flats further from the fire and smoke, which is an incredibly terrifying mistake. I understand that that happens. It's a natural instinct. I don't know how to evaluate. This is a seriously terrible thing that happened. It's a tragedy. And again, people are exploiting it on each end. My only comment on that video I made was that. That that was happening. Next, I'm going to be doing... This is going to be more lighthearted, I hope. I'm going to fill in the video with more data here for some other question. Here we go. What are your thoughts on colonizing Mars? I'm not going. Do you think it's possible to get through the Van Allen belt? Belts. And there's not just one. We, through setting off nuclear warheads, have caused extra belts. Do you think Mars has liquid water, and do you think our moon is not natural? There's no indication of any kind except from fringe... No, not fringe. Except from lie-based websites of uh, the moon not being a natural object. It looks... and I'm sorry, but i got to say this. The way the moon is balancing out the Earth with the rotation, almost but not perfectly matching the rotation of its orbit, its, its orbit around the Earth matches its rotation on its axis a little too conveniently. I understand that. But it's not a perfect match either. Um, but yeah, I mean, previous, previous, previous civilizations moved a planetoid in orbit around the Earth to spin stabilize it so we could have Christmas on a regular basis instead of being a Game of Thrones planet. Um, you know, literally, that's one of the parts in Game of Thrones. Look it up. Um, it is really, really weird that it does that, but we've also discovered other planets in, and they're tidally locked with their moon as well. It's not uncommon. In the past, we didn't know it was happening. Now we do know that it probably happens a lot. Um, and it is one of the predicted possible outcomes for planet formation that it would form two slightly different masses with different densities, slightly. It's just a flip of the coin kind of thing where it doesn't land on edge. Uh, it's a delicate balance that a planet would form or a solar system. And, well, it doesn't balance all the time. You get these unbalancing things. So. Yeah, um, but I understand why people would look... I mean, seriously, that is weird. And, and we'll just go on. As for the Van Allen belts, uh, there's this meme that we can't get through the Van Allen belts. The guy who discovered the Van Allen belts that it's named after has stated factually that he was wrong about the effects of them. People keep quoting the person, except for the update, where he said, yeah, forget that, I was wrong. Because he was. Humility in... He was wrong and admitted it? Even he said it's stupid to assume we can't go through the van animal. You just go through them as fast as possible. It's based on how long you're exposed to it. And it's not a consistent thickness. The Van Allen belts are skinnier towards a certain area, and you can, you can navigate through them. It, you can't see anything, but you can figure out where they are by running satellites through. And I'd like to point out that the main meme for causing this is people looking for any excuse possible to say, or is it? Calling question and everything. Well, I agree, question everything. After you've asked the question and gotten the answer, stop repeating the same question. You sound like an idiot. Not saying that to this person. I'm just saying it to, I'm just saying it to everybody, including myself, loudly, with a hammer and a mallet and, a, and, and you know a dork stamp on my face. Next, do you think we went to the moon? I have no dog in this fight, even though I have a video about how we probably landed on the moon. But the thing is, is that one side is, uh, I've, I've repeated this in several videos, one side is creating, on purpose, an argument that we didn't land on the moon, 
by listing things that are not demonstratively true. They lie all the time. I mean, literally, they get caught lying all the time. This is to create a cult of personality, to weed out people who would question them, so that they can deal with weak-minded people who don't ask you questions. You know, like, you know, like every other group. It was never done because there was a question of whether we landed on the moon. It's really not an interesting subject. Except for the equipment we left behind and the fact, oh yeah, we can do that. Um, uh, there are people who believe we can colonize Mars, but we can't land on the moon. That doesn't make any sense. But hey, it makes people able to have arguments on the net. Or feel that they're being impinged upon because people point out that, you know. Again, but anyway, here we go. You may have answered these questions in previous videos. Oh, it's okay. I apologize. Don't. It's fine. This is, this is what drives my channel. It's the thing that drives us and binds us. Smith joke. Uh, with all your analytical skill... skill whoa, 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 whoa. Spider. With all your analytical skills, you should be employed by a think tank somewhere. I was. I'm probably the reason they're not there anymore. No, I was employed as a computer technician. I didn't do anything. Uh, you're missing your calling. You should have been an attorney or should work for a law firm now. Hey, don't don't wish me to go to hell. Don't say I'm Satan. Anyway, I am not patronizing. I'm just stating fact. I do appreciate the statements, but I'm lame compared to some of the people I've obviously exploited by looking up their answers on the net. I'm just good at looking up stuff and finding... I, I apply Occam's razor and use it to cut the low-hanging fruit. Anyway, I just look for the what, what easily answers. I am a professional mechanical engineer and I interpret international building codes and NFPA codes for my healthcare system. You got some skills. I do appreciate the commentary. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to look up what NFPA is because it'll probably make me do a complete rant on coding systems. And on the one hand, I want weaker codes so I can get away with stuff. And on the other hand, I'm like, what the hell? You let that happen? I hate being a safety geek, too. It gets in the way of having fun. I'm really no fun at parties. Well, I can be, but, you know, you got to get me a couple of quad shot mochas. Anyway, um, I do appreciate this, and I've gotten used to people complimenting me. It's okay. I'm getting over it. I'm not used to this. Uh, but thanks for the nice comments, and thanks for the good questions, and I'm going to review real quick. We, I don't want us to land on Mars. I don't. Let's send robots. We don't need to colonize anything. We have enough trouble colonizing the South Pole. We suck at this. And we can't do it without screwing it up. I don't want to screwing up an entire planet. The moon would be an interesting experiment because it's a harsh environment and it's worth testing. Let's send up a Lego-branded giant 3D printer to build cities on the moon. And put a face on it for the fun of it. Just let's do that first. And I'm sorry, Elon, Elon Musk, shut up! <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. And yeah, Mars probably has liquid water, but I don't want to go drink it because it's going to be bad. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to make me burp. And the next thing is, the moon's very much real, and we did land on it. Because every other argument seems to be based on deliberately lying. That's a review. And as for the tower fire, my heart goes out to everybody who was harmed indirectly or directly in Britain. That was unnecessary as hell. And I hope we don't go over the cliff where that happens more often. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.